Hey, Aaron here. What you're about to watch is a lesson explaining the basics of relational databases taken from my course, The Ultimate Guide to Airtable, which can take you from beginner to expert in Airtable. I like to begin every new section with these explainer videos so you can understand the different concepts we'll be tackling in Airtable in that section, whether that be interfaces, sync, automations, I always include one. So I'll include a link to the full course with a discount and more sample lessons in the description. And I'm releasing a free lesson every week on the channel for a little while. There's a link to all of them in the description as well. And you can obviously subscribe to be notified when they come out. So without further ado, here we go. Let's talk about relational databases. I know the words seem intimidating, but they're actually a simple concept once you understand what they are and relational database are actually all around us. Let's start with a concrete example to understand the relationship part in relational databases. So in this whole section, we'll be working in a CRM use case, contact relationship management, managing contacts, companies, deals, and much more. If we continue with what we learned in the last section, we'll have a table of contacts, in the contacts table, we'll have fields for information around each contact, their name, email, phone number, and each record will be a contact that we're speaking to. And then we'll have another table for accounts. These are the companies we're talking to. We'll want to track the company's industry, revenue, website, and size. Now we have two separate tables in our database, accounts and contacts. But there's an important relationship here. Our contacts work at a company. Every contact we speak to should be working at a company we want to do business with. So it's important to be able to say this contact is related to this company. There's a relationship there. With relational databases like Airtable, we're able to associate information from one table to another to say Rose and Jeff work at Bear Paw Solutions. Once we make that connection, we're also saying that at Bear Paw Solutions, we're talking to two contacts, Rose and Jeff. And if we start talking to a third contact, say Fred, we can associate them to Bear Paw Solutions as well. Being able to see how records are related across tables is what defines a relational database. In our example, every contact is related to a company and every company is connected to one or more contacts. Another example, projects and tasks. A project has many tasks and every task is related to one project only. Once you start thinking in terms of relationships, you see them everywhere. Campaigns and content, events and attendees, teachers, classes and students, candidates and roles. They're truly, truly everywhere. So now that I've briefly introduced relational database, let's actually jump into Airtable in the next lesson and create these relationships in a CRM use case in Airtable. And then we'll jump into all the value that linking information across tables opens up, cuts down on manual entry, increases data integrity, gives you visibility into your workflow and so much more.